Still dragging formless across the spreadsheet like it's 2005? Save time in Excel with by row and by column and never copy paste again. Whether you're summing rows, calculating averages or running custom formulas, by row and by column lets Excel do the grunt work automatically. Today I'll show you how to automate row and column calculations so you can spend less time clicking and more time getting work done. Stick around because by the end, you'll wonder why you didn't use these sooner. So here I have a range of data. Let's say, for example, I got it. I want to sum everything here, right? I want to sum these areas here and I want to sum it for all the rows. Well, I have to do this and then I have to, and then I have to drag it down for that, right? So by row does for you, it just makes it a little bit easier. So what you need to do is just type by row, press tab here. I'm going to select my array. And then what function does it have? It's got all these predefined aggregate functions like sum, average, medium, and I can just select sum, press enter, and it does it for me, right? And so that's just the sum. It has other ones like you saw there. They have other aggregate type of functions. I can do by row and select my array again, comma, and maybe I wanted to do average. Click average, press enter. It does it for me right there, right? And that's the nice thing about it. And it can also do other types of neat things. And it's a little bit more involved, but it does make it a little bit interesting. So what I can do is I can incorporate something called a lambda function with it. So if I do by row, and I select my array again. And I will use this function called lambda. If you scroll down, you'll see that there's this function called lambda. I can type lambda in, right? I can type lambda in, or I can just select it. And here we can say, we can give lambda a name. We'll give it a parameter and give the parameter a name. And what do we want to do? Well, we can say sum. We can say sum. Let's sum the row, right? Let's sum that row, the, the name we gave it. Close parentheses, press enter. Uh, you need another parentheses. That's fine. I'll accept that. And it's going to do the same thing. But why should we do that since we already got something here? Well, you can do something that's a little bit more dynamic. Let's take this out. And instead of row, let's give it where if it didn't meet a certain value, then it'll tell you if it met a threshold or didn't meet a threshold. So let's try something like this. Now that we gave it, we gave it a name. Let's go if any of these values, if they don't meet like 100, then we'll say it's all below the threshold. If it's above 100, it, if it's 100 above, it's above the threshold. It meets the threshold, right? And so what it's going to do is going to look for the minimum of these values and see if there are any of them are under 100. And what we can do now is write the function out. So I'll say minimum, right? The minimum of that row that we define in Lambda. If that minimum is greater than 100, then we'll say, yeah, it met the threshold. And then the other part of the if statement, if it's false, right? Not met threshold, not met threshold. You got to put these in quotes because it's a string. Close parentheses, close parentheses. And that last one, close parentheses of the lambda, press enter. And then everything met the threshold. Well, let's change it, right? Let's change it to 101. Press enter. Did anything not meet the threshold? This one. And we can make this dynamic. We can say, let's put the number up here. We'll put 101. We'll put 100 first, right? And then here, we can just say, did it meet the cell? Delete that, did it meet the cell? Press enter. Everything met the threshold. If I change the number here, it did not meet the threshold. The by row just makes it a little bit more convenient. When you make your formula function, you don't need to copy it down. So it just decreases those extra keystrokes for that. Now the by column is basically the same thing, but horizontally. So how does this work? Well, let's say, for example, I want to get the average of everything in this column. All it is is my column. Press tab. My array is this array. And if I want to do average, I just type the letter A. It selects any man. It starts with the letter A, average. Close parentheses. Press enter. It spills that over there. All right. So that's the average. The same thing here. I can, use, I can do the lambda, right? If I wanted to say if the value, any of these values, uh, for example, are greater than 450. Let's do greater than 450. Now here I'm gonna here I'm not gonna reference the cell, but same concept. I can just type in by column, and my array is this array, comma lambda. Let me just go scroll down and select that. Double click to select that. What's my parameter? Well, my parameter I'll just, I'll just call it column. Make it easy. Column if now I'm looking for the max. If any, if, if any values go over 450, then I'll say, yeah, over 450. Under 450, under 450, right? If, share say, so here I'll say, if 
the maximum value of that column value or those column values, if that is greater than 450, and you can see the logic test is highlighted, I'll put over 450. And then if the value is false, because I put that comma in, now that's highlighted bold, I'll say not over 450. Oops, forgot the quote. Close parentheses, close parentheses, and then close parentheses. Press enter. Oops, I'm missing something. Let's see what I'm missing. Oh, I had this extra parentheses and the lambda here. Let's remove that. That means I don't need that one at the end. No, I think I still needed that parentheses. Press enter. And now, let me double, let me select my columns here, double click so we can see everything. Not over 450, over 450. Not over 450. So, in this column, there's no values over 450. Everything else, there's values in these cells that are over 450. So that's how we can use by row and by column. So what they do is these, these by row and by column things, it just makes it a little convenient so you don't have to go through some extra clicks. So that's how you save time with Excel with by row and by column. Fast, clean, way less clicking. If you found this helpful, click the like button and subscribe because I got more Excel shortcuts coming your way.